Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back. My name is Nadia Ian Sands. This, of course, is Learn How to Edit Stuff. And today, the Adobe After Effects gods are shining down upon us and they are giving us the most requested After Effects feature in a very long time from what I read on the internet, and that is multi-frame rendering. Now I get it, multi-frame rendering may not sound super sexy to some of you, but it is super sexy. <laughs> And here's why. It will speed up your rendering performance no matter how good or bad your PC is. Obviously, the better your rig, the better your performance, but Adobe is not leaving the low spec PCs in the dark with this one. Now, as of today, the time that I am making this video, the time that you are watching me speak these words to you over the internet, multi-frame rendering is only available in After Effects beta, and it is only available via Rexport, <laughs> via Rexport? via export via the newly renovated, newly updated render queue, which looks really awesome. The buttons are bigger, the buttons are rounder, and when you render, it shows a little blue bar, a little gray bar, and a little green bar to indicate multiple frames being rendered, which is a nice little added touch. Anyways, only available via export via the render queue right now, but the folks at Adobe have bigger plans for the future of multi-frame rendering, which includes previewing in your timeline in After Effects, dynamic link, and export out of media encoder as well. So very exciting future your plans for multi-frame rendering, but right now also exciting for multi-frame rendering on export via the render queue in After Effects beta. We're all excited about it. So of course I've had the distinct pleasure of using multi-frame rendering before it was publicly available to you for one very simple reason, because I have an After Effects pillow and the folks over at Adobe were like, hey, nice pillow. You want multi-frame rendering early? And I was like, yeah, absolutely. Let me try it out. And I'm very excited about it for one reason and one reason only. It saves a tremendous amount of time. And if you've watched any of my videos before, you've been subscribed to my channel for any length of time, you know what I always say, time is money. Money is time. And this saves a lot of time. So thank you, Adobe and After Effects for the free cash. I appreciate it. Now I'll admit I have a pretty beefy PC. Here's the specs for those people that are wondering. I'll put it in the video description as well, but I might be a little biased when it comes to my multi-frame rendering tests, but so far I've been seeing at or above 2x in speed for all of my renders. So I am doubling the speed on almost everything and in some cases almost quadrupling the speed for some of my renders. So it's been really, really awesome so far. So as part of the rollout, Adobe dished out this very beautiful looking test project as a benchmark test for multi-frame rendering and my render time for this with multi-frame rendering enabled was seven minutes and one second versus 12 minutes and 53 seconds with single frame rendering. When comparing exports side by side, there are zero visual rendering differences between the two exports. And here is another test I did with the squad intro for Team Liquid, which if you haven't seen it, it's a series of hand-drawn art layers with a 3D camera kind of pushing through with some effects, etc. And multi-frame rendering got me two minutes and 18 seconds versus eight minutes and 30 seconds which I can't really do math that well, but I believe, I believe that's like four times the speed. Then I went and threw this simple starting soon animation together, which is only a few layers, but utilizing a lot of render intensive things inside of After Effects, like wave warp, repeaters, etc. With multi-frame rendering, we clocked in at 12 minutes and 37 seconds. And with single frame rendering, we were at 18 minutes and 31 seconds. So almost a six minute difference on that one. Now, of course I could show you some more tests, but I feel like at this point you should understand why this is pretty awesome. And I will include some links in the description below for more information about multi-frame rendering via Adobe. But based on the frequently asked questions, I feel like mentioning one that you might all have. Question, will third-party plugins work with multi-frame rendering? Answer, Adobe is working with several technology partners to ensure their plugins are optimized for multi-frame rendering. Now, obviously Adobe can't guarantee that all third-party plugins will work. So if you go ahead and download After Effects beta and you enable multi-frame rendering and you're still seeing some slowdown somewhere, chances are it might be because that third-party plugin is not optimized completely for multi-frame rendering. So hang in there, it's a slow process. That's why it's coming out in beta, not being pushed in a public release because Adobe wants more data. They want more people to test things and they want to see how this feature works on a variety of different PC specs, but this is a very awesome step in a very awesome direction for speed. Well, that does it for today's video. Short, sweet, just delivering the news, you know, little, little news update for you and learn how to edit stuff. By now, you should have gone and downloaded or updated After Effects beta via the Creative Cloud app and opened it up and you might have to enable multi-frame rendering. I don't know if it's going to be enabled via default because I have a pre-release version of it. But anyway, in my menu, you have to go to preferences and then memory and performance and then there's a little checkbox that says activate multi-frame rendering. So look out for that. Anyways, 
Thank you so much for watching this video. I really am excited for multi-frame rendering. I hope you are too. I am very much nerding out over this news from Adobe After Effects. If you haven't yet, please consider subscribing to my channel where you can find amazing tutorials for After Effects and Premiere and DaVinci Resolve and a bunch of fun editing stuff. And there's links in the video description below for you to support me, support yourself, support this channel. Give it a thumbs up, drop a comment in the comment section below, and I will see you in the next one.